Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are here on the link and dot charts today. So we've had some special days of altcoins over the past week now. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about the love that we have for Link. If you've been tuning into the Twitch live streams you've been doing, I think you're absolutely loving Link even more than everyone else right now because of how the special connection we have with Link. And I also want to cover Dot in this video, but... Um, you know, I just think like now is a time to be really, really happy. Just like, how can you not just be loving life right now? Like the altcoins are popping, Bitcoin's popping. Uh, well, Bitcoin's actually just in that like magical gold mine range, as we call it. But obviously it's it's on its way up to the top of the range. So Bitcoin's going up, altcoins are going up. You know, it's pretty hard not to be happy right now. It, you know, excluding difficulties in life, left, right and center. If we're just focused on the chart, you've got to be a very, very, very happy person. So uh, I hope you are anyway. With that said, let's go into the technical analysis here. Starting with Link, I'm going to look at Link against Tether. So here we are hitting at around $48 at the moment. Um, if we zoom in on a lower term time frame, obviously, from the live stream that we were doing well, a few days ago now, we obviously had that big level at $50, just below $50. And it's pretty amazing how it happened. Uh, we came up and we hit that first FIB target. We dropped. We got an increase in price to breach through the big $50 that we wanted before a secondary move down. And then absolutely perfectly, we retested that Fibonacci level again for another move down coming into this morning. So that FIB level was absolutely key. Absolutely key. And obviously, how can we get, how did we get that one? It was obviously when we took our FIB from the low on back on the 23rd of Feb up to the high on the 15th of April. And that gave us our CC retracement and then our first Fibonacci target, which was just, just under $49. Uh, so we can see we've, we're hitting that right now and it's hard to argue with the fact that this is acting as resistance currently. So the question, are we going to break through or not? That's kind of just up to the market now. Personally, I would... You know, you just got to view this as this is a resistance level. So you got to always think to yourself, OK, do you want to buy resistance or do you want to wait for a pullback? OK, well, one would imagine that you prefer to, to wait for pullbacks. Um, <laughs> so if that's the case, you got to be thinking to yourself, OK, have I missed link? OK, and if, if, if that's the case, then there's there's a lot of different altcoins out there to trade or alternatively, you know, you know, do you want to buy up here? I guess, you know, you could potentially buy for trying to trade for a bull flag. You might want to wait maybe for $50, $50 to be claimed as support. Um, you know, those are two potential options. Obviously, the best option is to, to see a retrace. But the thing is, does is Link going to retrace this heavily? Well, time will tell. Obviously, the biggest support coming in now is back at $39 which we were at a few days ago. Uh, but obviously, since then, we saw that massive 30%, you know, 30% increase in price. So, you know, I think Link is, obviously, I'm still in my longs on this one. And I'm just viewing this really simply as, okay, we got this really big $50 resistance. I personally wouldn't really want to buy into this resistance up here. Um, you know, if we got another retrace to $39, hey, you know, back back in the game, and, and I'd look to buy it. I uh, like you know, for me, like compounds more, so easy buy more of it. So if we, if we got our retrace to thirty nine, I'd I'd love you know I'd love to get in more you know buy more link here to be honest. As we can see, our next Fibonacci targets to the upside. If we clear fifty dollars, are bringing us to fifty eight dollars, and then sixty seven sixty eight dollars. So almost each ten dollar increment. Now we had about fifty dollars, about sixty dollars, and about about seventy dollars. Give or take a few dollars either side. That's that's our next Fibonacci extension targets here to the upside. Um, yeah, so that, that that's that's really, really, really simply how I would trade it. I think you've got, you know, I just I'll repeat it, three options. Really simply, uh the, the fib levels that we had been going over in our this is over on the Twitch live streams. If you don't if you don't follow the Twitch live streams, you're missing out because I've been giving pretty good calls on this one. And as this guy said, um Dan giving signals question mark, man, of course. Twitch is, Twitch is a free-for-all open for everybody. But we were obviously bullish on link. This was back when we were trading at $40 link. We were bullish on that one. We got our lovely increases in price, all because of the Legend of Zelda. Uh, obviously, we were talking then about what well, Link, and we got the fifty dollar dot target, which I'll talk about in a second. But basically, yeah, I put my full trust in Princess Zelda to leverage Long Link. 
chain, the horse, Link, the legend himself, the ultimate duo riding through the plane, searching for the next altcoin to pump. $50 coming on several alts. That includes Dot, which we're going to cover next. But yeah, just so you can remember this one, mentioned on absolutely free on Twitch. Here we have that Fibonacci resistance very much acting as resistance as expected. And if we can clear this and hold it as support, we should be looking for a move up to around $58. Again, it's not necessarily going to go straight up there, but over the course of, you know, a week or, you know, week or two, we can expect then to hit $58. Okay. So that's how I'm trading this one. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, obviously, I'd much prefer a pullback to around $39. Don't really think it's the most likely at the moment, but you know, this is the thing for me. It pulls back to $39 or I just don't buy more. I'm very, 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 very happy with that. <laughs> okay. So that's the way I'm looking to, um, you know, trade link still in this long position. I've had absolutely no reason to close it. Of course, hitting $50 is a nice take profit, but not closing that long at all. Moving on to DOT. So again, DOT, I am trading over on Bybit and I am trading DOT against USDT. Where we do we see this? It should be here in my list somewhere. There we go. So here, Dot, another nice one. I remember talking about this one, well, this one being back in the 15th of April, back, you know, nearly a month ago, um, where we were waiting for this drop down between, really between 33 and $26, a massive accumulation zone, like where you, I was just like happy to, to buy this really, because I'm expecting $50 dot, and it's as simple as that. Um, I would have happily held onto this one for a few months, a year, two years. I'm not really like bothered. I'm, I think it's a really, 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 uh, really nice project. On top of the being a being a nice project, this is this is the thing. I, I get you, you. You all know Mike. So Mike from Chart Champions, uh, obviously a coach over with us. And um, Mike is a lot more about altcoins. Mike, the altcoin king, uh, and he 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 shielded me dot pretty hard. I was like, man, I, I really actually want to get involved in this project. It does sound pretty impressive. Uh, so Daniel, the non-fundamental guy that does nothing, gets shilled by Mike, and I uh, I become a fanboy of Dot. So yeah, I was happy to buy Dot all the way, you know, really, really to about probably $25. I would have just bought more and bought more. I'm looking to take this up to $50. So yeah, this is my thought process. I think we can get $50. Of course, there's not that much price history on Bybit. It's a relatively new altcoin there. Got listed only back in March. Uh, but we've basically currently got a sideways range. We like to trade sideways ranges. We had the lows, which was put in at $27. We have the range high, which was put in around $47. And surprise, surprise, we went from range low up to the high, midpoint up to the high, swing failure pattern of the low, bullish obviously, up to the midpoint, you know, a bit of a pullback, but I'm looking for this to make its way up to the higher range, which gives us back again once to, to to around $46, $47. Hey, if we can get $50 icing on the cake, but long and strong on, on dot, uh, you might question where would I buy more of this? Mm, well, I, I think the strongest support now is around $33, $34. So, you know, give me $33, $34, I'll probably buy some more. Um, <laughs> You know, this is the thing right now. I think everybody's in the same situation though. I think um, right now it's pretty easy to make money on altcoins. I don't think this is hard. Um, not to sound condescending, like I'm just saying like you can pretty much throw a, you know, blindfold yourself and buy an altcoin and you pretty much guaranteed to, you know, well not guaranteed, you should be making money. It's not really that difficult when they're all moving up like this. So, you know, I'm not trying to say um, this is hard. It's relatively easy actually. And um you know, I think you just got to stick to your plans. Of course, you got to have you like your entries, your exits all thought out of in advance. There's no point in li taking me literally and just buying something and just hoping for the best because you know, that's not that's just not trading. So as long as you can make an informed decision of, OK, where's where's the best area to buy this for the pullback? You know, what time frame are you trading? Where are you looking to take this? Are you looking to just take it up to previous highs or are you expecting, you know, massive gains to the upside? Obviously, different projects, different ideas. Um, but for me, for example, like, um, you know, Litecoin, I'm happy to hold for, you know, well, it's in, until it hits my higher target. So maybe that's a six month long trade. Of course, I have to factor in I'm paying funding. So I am paying funding. But for me to pay, you know, 0.3% funding a day where I'm at when I'm expecting, you know, 200% gains to the upside, it's it's kind of, for me, it's irrelevant to be paying, a, you know, 0.3% funding when the when the gains I'm making on this are expected exponentially you know massive i'm like leveraged long on litecoin i'm leveraged long on on link and dot so these things are you know i'm paying a little bit of funding for the absolutely crazy gains it's kind of you know outweighs who cares about you know i'm not really that bothered about the funding uh especially while we're still like impulsing up every day it's just going up and up and up and you know 
so I'm really not bothered about the funding right now. Of course, I am aware of it. Um, so yeah, that's really my thought process on these, these, this, this. I'm looking link. If we get a pullback, you know, I'm going to buy some more. I think we got fifty dollar resistance on link. Yeah. So if we can reclaim this resistance as support, then we look up to fifty eight dollars. Uh, dot make it really, really, really simple for you. Um, I'm really looking up towards 50, uh, $47 to continue this range. Yeah, if we get a pullback to around $33, $34, I'll probably buy some more of this one. Um, ultimately, still looking for the top of the range. This is just a really simple range. I mean, just as like when we talk about Bitcoin, we love to trade the Bitcoin ranges. And, you know, we could do the same on the altcoins. And of course, it's beneficial for Bitcoin really to be moving up. Because when Bitcoin moves up, of course, the uh, the altcoins against Tether are moving up too. So um, exactly as predicted. <laughs> Bullish on link back at forty dollars. If you're not following us over on Twitter, I think it's sorry Twitter. Oh, go go follow us over on Twitter if you're not anyway. But of course, it's really fun over on Twitch. I think the community is lovely. We have Unes like smashing out the um, hype trains. We got Duki over with the hype trains. It's just a load of fun. I think I think Twitch is really fun. And because I'm like in a really good mood when I'm doing this, I'm like more than happy to like give the people the signal calls because I'm like, hey, I'm just like in a, such a good mood. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to catch me in a good mood, uh, you want to get some free signal calls, hey, I'm happy to do this over on Twitch, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, shout out to the real Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, $700 entry, obviously. That was crazy, guys. But yeah, the altcoins right now putting me in a pretty nice mood. Even happier, I'm probably all about Bitcoin though. I mean, I love Bitcoin. You love, you know me, I love Bitcoin. I love to trade ranges. Bitcoin's in a range. All coins are in a range. Range, ranges, ranges. You know, that makes me a happy man. That makes me a happy man. Like, I'm just in my element. I am just like, yeah, I don't know. I feel good, feel happy. Loving the trading right now. And I uh, I love all the comments that you're giving, all the support, all the uh, smashing of the likes, but specifically the comments, you know. Uh, let me show you this. Done the TPO series last night which went down an absolute treat. People, oh yeah, well, look at that. Lovely new desk, by the way. Yeah, done the new TPO series last night, which I think was, oh man, I was, you, you don't understand. Like I got literally excited to do that stream and I'd done the stream and then the comments flowing in afterwards. Um, yeah, it made me, made me very, very, very happy. So I went to, went to sleep with a big smile and I woke up with an even bigger smile today. So uh, yeah, hope you're doing well. Hope you've enjoyed this relatively quick, but hopefully simple analysis. And um, yeah, have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. And as as they say here, da -da 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 -da. where's the comment? No, where's the comment? Man, we need to find the comment before we end. I will just end with this comment. Another tool for the CC pool. TPO is as predicted. Yeah, that was what I wanted. Exactly as predicted. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And have a, just have a brilliant day. Cheers.